if it wasn't for the British professional army, it might be you. on the front line with a couple of weeks training and cannon fodder for the enemy. So should we not thank professional servicemen for saving your ass? Now look at Canada and America. When one of their soldiers die, look at the parade. Look at the turnout en route from the airport to his hometown for his funeral. Fire trucks, policemen, everything. And what do we do? Nothing. One little town got threatened for showing support to so ex for soldiers that had been killed. But in general, British soldiers killed in action are quickly forgotten. How many remember the hundreds who died in Northern Ireland, for instance? A war we were put in and couldn't get out of. But the other thing, for every soldier killed, there's about three seriously wounded. And I mean, no limbs, horrific injuries, burns. Does anybody go around looking after them? Are you okay, mate? Do you need anything? Does the British Legion help ex-servicemen? Ask Jim Davison, the comedian. The British Legion is now a commercial enterprise. You don't get help from the British Legion. I know, I've tried. I once needed an operation and military hospitals were still in existence, like Catrick Army Hospital. And I got priority treatment and had an operation there. But now there is no military hospitals to talk about. They're put in the National Health Service. And a lot of the staff hate the British Army. Why should we worry about the staff who treat us? I totally admire Donald Trump and what he has done for ex-servicemen. An ex-serviceman in America were treated by, I think, called VA hospitals and badly treated. Rats running around. People lying in shit, and the people who were supposed to be the doctors and nurses turned a blind eye and didn't care. He changed things. Now they can go to any private doctor, any hospital, and get help. That is what we need. A man like Donald Trump to look after ex servicemen. I'm not the only one that needs medical treatment. I need two hip replacements. I can't afford it. Why should I have to sit in agony? Why am I not helped? Because the British Legion don't help you. And it's, you get no help if you live abroad. None whatsoever. I only live abroad. Well, I went abroad because I give evidence that proved somebody that was convicted of murder, sentenced to death, was innocent. And I was hounded by MI5 and the police. I proved I was correct in what I was doing. And I don't care if it was a Catholic or a Protestant. If I saw injustice, I would act and tell the truth. Many of my friends said, don't do anything. The guy's a Catholic. My wife was a fucking Catholic. But I put my mouth in it, told the truth, and the guy got acquitted 
after serving 18 years in prison, spending a couple of weeks on death row. So I am the guilty man for telling the truth. In MI5, just hate me. In MOD, oh my God. They'd love to hang me, draw me and quarter me for sure. Up the fucking MOD. <laughs> Then it started all over again Those who were living Just try to survive In that mad world of blood, death and fire
So now every April I sit on my porch And I watch the parade pass before me I see my old comrades How proudly they march Renewing their dreams of past glory I see the old men All tired, stiff and sore The weary old heroes Of a forgotten war And the young people ask What are they marching for? And I ask myself the same question And the band played waltzing Matilda And the old men still answered the call But year after year Numbers get few Someday no one will march there at all Waltzing Matilda Waltzing Matilda Who'll come waltzing Matilda with me their ghosts may be heard as they march by the billabong who'll come a waltzing Matilda with me